everyone, it's Raul back with R&D Moving in Storage Supplies, back for another video. We um, prepared a couple of videos past this, before this one, regarding shrinking the size of a box. We uh, showed you how we can take this box, that was about this size, and how we managed to shrink it to about half the size, okay, by simply cutting it, and then shrinking, uh, squishing one inside the other like this, like this, and uh, like this. And we pretty much showed you how to reduce the size, right? We reduce the size of the box by simply cutting it and one goes inside the other. We also showed you how it, uh, by putting one inside the other, we increase the size, the strength of the box as well, okay? Very handy to, uh, idea to have when it comes to shipping, because as I said, we pretty much shaved half the uh, price for your uh, shipping. Or not that's half, but a pretty, good, a pretty good chunk of the money you pay for your shipping, okay? By reducing the size of the box, because shipping parcels, are measured by weight and uh, dimension okay so we showed you that we showed you how to take this box here that was this much this big and again same idea remember the magic trick yeah that one was the magic trick we brought it into this size not bad eh? now I also promised you in that video how to show you uh, to show you how to uh, enlarge the size of a box because again as you can have a box that's pretty much small uh, big reduce it to half you also there's sometimes you have a box that's kind of small doesn't fit and uh, you need something a little bigger than that right so I'm going to show you that okay so we're good at these review the following the following couple of videos from the past we have them all on our channel um, if you're one of our subscribers it's there you've probably seen it if not uh, do review our, our videos in our channel and you'll see, you'll see the, box, the video about these boxes okay so let's set these guys aside One, and we two gone. And I'm gonna show you how to enlarge this box. We work with this box a lot. Uh, it's a box we pre-assembled before. But let's say you have something. Sometimes have something that um, kind of doesn't fit in the box. It's a little bigger, and you want to increase the size of a box. Okay. And that one is pretty straightforward as well. It's not bad to do, but it's again, it's a good trick to have as well, okay? So we're going to take two boxes. This is pretty much the same box, except this is a brand new box. Same height, all dimensions, uh, dimensions are equal, okay? For this, you can have a, bo a box that can, so long as it is the same dimensions all around, you're great. Uh, as to the height, it doesn't really matter. Ideally, it should be the same height or less if you just want to increase it a little bit, but if you want to increase it a lot, then you want the box that has about the same dimensions all around, but it's higher than this, okay? So there we go. We have this box here that is around 15 inches high, okay? It's around 15 inches high. I'm going to increase it to 30 inches, about 30, okay? So what I do is I take this box. I first open the, the box. I taped the bottom already. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase it. Nice, eh? So what do I do? First of all, I open the flaps, as I said, right? Then I take the same exact box. I just insert inside of this one. I put the, the new box, the flaps of the new box, always have to be inside the, the, the old box, the other box below, okay? The reason being, because when you put, uh, when you fill it up, you don't want these flaps inside disturbing you, okay? And these guys will not disturb you, these ones here. So what you do, basically, put it all, stick the, 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 the flaps all around nicely. And you push it down. See that? I like, like that. Perfect. And I'm pretty much at the level of the flap on the uh, underneath. So I end up with the two exact heights. So 15 times 2 end up with, with a 30 inch box. What you do with this box here? Now you go around and you can tape it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you how you can do it. You tape it all around and you have the box. Actually, you know what? I'll show you. I'll do it just to make things a little. Just make things, make things a little clearer, okay? Although I don't. So you kind of need two people to help you, okay? So let's say, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna just do something very straightforward. So what I do, go like that, like that, like that, and like that. This is to make it simple so you get to see exactly what I'm doing, okay? So basically we'll take this box all around and then you would have the top box over here. So 
you see, I double the size of the box, like that. Now you basically will just take, just take the top, okay? Again, you have to add more tape than this. I just added just to make it simple for you to see how to do it. But you basically add a few runs all around, okay? And then you tape the top, and there, there we go. You, you just double the size of your box. And as I mentioned before, if you want a, a bigger, uh, taller, you should simply get a box that's a bit taller than 15, right? And you can just keep expanding, okay? So there we go. You load your things, and it's good to go. Well, I hope this was informative. It's another day in school. <laughs> um, yeah, straightforward. So you now know how to increase the size of a box and to reduce the size of a box, okay? Just makes things a little more uh, simpler for you. And again, as I mentioned in the previous videos, it does give you a sense of power that you don't have to run to the store and actually buy a box. That's always so high because you waste time in the, going there and everything. And if you have two of these boxes, just join them together and you're good to go, okay? Uh, it would be cheaper, obviously, to get a box that's already that height because uh, you're not using two boxes. But uh, so you don't have to go to the store and spend a lot of time. This is the simplest way of doing it, okay? Uh, I hope this was informative and helpful. Um, as mentioned before, uh, subscribe to our channel below. We are always uh, posting videos on how uh, uh, you can... Um, informative videos as to uh, overcome challenges and to help you with your move and your shipping process, okay? Any questions, any comments, post them below as well. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you again in a new, uh, new video in the future. Now, the next one is going to be how to make a box stronger. Uh, we mentioned before you have a single wall box, double wall box, we mentioned in videos. We also mentioned that when you put a box inside of the other, you actually end up with a double strength, double wall, because these two layers together. Now we're going to show another simple way to do it if you want to just increase the size of the box a little bit on your ship, okay? Thanks so much. Uh, it was a pleasure having you with us and see you in the next video.